folks. I hope you're doing okay. It's Saturday the 12th of February. Is it the 12th of Feb? Hang on. Yes, 12th of Feb. I can put my watch book on now. I've been crocheting since about 10 past 7. So, um, pretty much non-stop. And I thought that would be an unfair step advantage if I kept my watch on all that time. Like, 10,000 steps by 9am? Wow. Um, it's coming up to 22 10 in the morning. I'm going to make a cup of tea soon uh, and head off. I'm having my hair cut. I've straightened it just, you know, so it doesn't look quite as wild when I get there. Um, but I think we'll have it. I'm going to have all this cut off again. But it's been about two months since I've had it cut. So, and these, we were leaving these front bits because she'd, we'd, we'd really thinned them out and I think damaged it a bit. Um, but they're ready to be cut off, I think. Again, a bit feel a bit split so we'll get those cut off um but i wanted to show you i should be finishing a monster project this weekend and i only started it last weekend but it's my friend's birthday on tuesday the 15th and i want it done and it is using excuse the crinkle the new fashion chunky that i got given by my friend liz um that was from her mother-in-law's house so i had about when I say 15 bowls of this, or 15 and odds and leftovers and whatever. So I've decided, I found the pattern for the blanket I made for the cats. And I used, I think it was like called Desert Sands yarn that I got from Lollies. But I appear to have no record of it on video. Therefore nothing on my blog. I couldn't find any pictures of it on Instagram. I, I don't know why this blanket and there was no record of it but I was looking through my saved like watch later videos at patterns because I thought it's not the one by I initially thought it was a bag a day bag o day pattern but that was the one I made in the pink uh, Audi cake yarn that the cats use no. and the cats use the other one <laughs> but um, the secret yarnery Krista. Um, I had a, the Sober Granny pattern saved in my watch later and looking at that comparing it to the blanket I've got down there I think it's the one. So I decided on Saturday last week I, well, I finished and woven in the ends of the Galaxy of Change blanket for Paul's aunt. I've not washed it or anything. Um, I'll show you that in another clip because I had to fudge it right at the end. I think I took it further. I got to around 52 and had 600 grams of the yarn art uh, yarn and I had that much I think to do so I fudged it, I had some yarn left over that was a yarn bee possibly In I had it left over in this bag, I was my um, crochet bag that the boys got me the one with the pointy stick um, I had it in the bottom of here, and I was like, what is this yarn? I don't know, it's a textile in here. Oh no, that's a thing. But I made like um, a cow stroke shawl thing with it. Catonia or something? Katona? I don't know. Anyway, <laughs> basically, yeah, I don't know anything. Um, but I fudged it with that. So I finished the Galaxy Change Blanket. Um, and then started this beast, which to say it's been a week's worth of work, I'm pretty impressed. I had very sore hands the other day. I'm trying to wear my support as much as I can, but it's wider than my wingspan at full spread, but I'm not very tall. So that's not probably just over five foot, five and a half foot maybe. Um, and it's the sober granny, which I'll link below. So you get the corners corner texture, but it's worked in rows, so you don't have to guess how far you are with your yarn. So as it stands, I've got three of these left and some bits and bobs. So I've, where's my, I think I've got a tiny bit of yarn left on this one. Oh, I've got it all wrapped up. Um, yeah, I've got that much on this ball so I'll be joining a new one soon um I worked in a ball and a half last night while I was watching ice skating so I was pretty impressed uh, my hand didn't hurt too much so that's good uh, I was getting the pain here um 
from where I hold hold my intention the yarn I think I must you know there that's where I get the, the pain so whether I'm squeezing or yes I know I've got a haircut um yeah so I've had that before when I was working on probably a rings of change blanket a couple of years ago and had to have three or four days off crocheting and I read like a whole book because I wasn't crocheting um so I might take a rest a few rest days when I've done that when I finish this um so from what I remember you you like even this out obviously make it flat um there is a border and I have some grey chunky yarn that came with this it's not new fashion um so I might edge it in grey but I mean it's quite a nice and neat edge as it is it's not it's not too wavy I've not joined any colours so it's not I've not got to go over any ends or anything like that so I don't know but I'm going to film clips as the weekend progresses uh, and I get it finished up it's quite dense because this is chunky yarn and I'm using a I don't know if you'll see this well my camera snazzy camera focus six and a half mil hook um, I love these hooks you know for doing a lot of work with this hand hasn't hurt at all to say I've crocheted all of this, you know, like 12 balls in a week. No pain in this hand, just this <laughs> um, But yeah, I used a six and a half with Chunky and I could have gone, I probably should have gone up to a seven to make it a more drapey blanket. But because there's a lot of this yarn, it's almost like, um, it's not bad being dense because it's like a weighted blanket almost. And I think my friend will really enjoy that. So, yes. Plus by the time I thought, hmm, I could have gone up a hook size. I was about three balls in and I thought, there's no chance. There's, there's no time and I'm not undoing that amount of work. So it's not stiff. I mean, obviously it'll um, soften up when it's washed anyway. But I think it's got a nice, a nice weight to it, considering it's chunky and it's fairly big. And I think it'll be perfect. Um, so yes. I'm going to get myself together because my watch is saying you've got a haircut in half an hour and I've got to drive there. So I'll make my tea, get my shoes on and I can't go near with that tea. <laughs> I've only had, well, two cups of caffeinated tea and then I've had a herbal tea because my throat's a little bit sore. Um, so yes, I'm going to, I won't take this with me because it's too blooming big to do in the car, but I usually get there just in time and go straight in and come straight home. So I've got to go to the library with the boys later. Then we're going looking for door handles. I know, contain your excitement, but the children broke a door handle the other day. Not necessarily intentionally, but isn't it typical? I, I literally went out there to lock the garage door because Terminator got his bike out and then left the door, garage door open. So I went out, locked the door, came back in, door's broken. Not the front door, though into our front room uh yeah handle just he says he went to turn it and it something just made a snapping sound so we don't know what it is but yeah maybe new door handles lovely and paul's car just cost nearly 400 pounds because it needed new brake caliper and brake pads and discs and a hose and you know so yeah fun anyway I'm going to go. I will catch up with you with some more sober granny progress and hopefully I will. this will be a hey I've started something and I've finished it within the same vlog. Let's hope. So I'll catch up with you in a bit. Bye guys. Hey folks, I hope you're okay. I'm back. It's Sunday 13th of February, January, February, four o'clock in the afternoon. I'm hot. We have done well, I made pancakes for the kids this morning. Didn't even get one to eat myself. Then I did the ironing. Then I had breakfast. And then we went to the shop and just picked up a few bits that didn't come on the shopping. And Jack needed to pick up a present for his, uh, Valentine's present for his girlfriend. They're nine. Um, and came back and had lunch. And then what else did we do? Cleaned up all the cat litter, finished off the blanket, popped that in the wash and then me and Jack have made lemon drizzle cake and banana. Why don't you? Oh, my ear. Get down. I've got my apron on, my hat on. 
Oh, it's so loud in my ear hole. Um, so yes, we're just waiting the banana loaves out, isn't it? We're just waiting yeah. for the lemon drizzle to come out and then we'll um, prick it seems... and put... Bless you. I'm not going to Okay, I'll take it back. <laughs> uh, and we're going to prick it and put the lemon syrup in it. So that would be good. We're just waiting for that. And then in the meantime, we've got potatoes um, boiling. Uh, they'll go into roast once the oven's free. <laughs> And then I think Paul might have to supervise and having a shower because I think I'm just tired. It's been a busy day, isn't it, Jack? Stop spraying yourself with that. Anyway, crochet. I have finished this monster of a blanket. So in the end, I probably used watching. about... Can you bring me that ball of yarn that's in the front room, mate? Please, thank you. Uh, probably used about 14 of the balls or broke into... I've used every full ball of yarn I had. Um, and I have, thank you, this much left. So probably about 50, 60 grams, maybe a bit more. She has the... none left. Oh, get out more. of my ear. Thank you. How do you think your tinnitus came about? Oh, I don't know. Maybe just having children. Just spray me when you're mad. <laughs> You'll be very wet all of the time. Um, so it is, I measured it, I laid it out on the bed and measured it. It's 64 inches by 58 inches. So. It's a big one, and I used the. Um, I was considering doing a grey border, but I didn't think it looked. I thought, mm, I think it's big enough as it is, I can do the border in the same colour. Um, so I did, I used the border that is like uh, Krista does in the pattern. It's a great pattern, great videos. She's really um, easy to follow, very, you know, very informative, very straightforward. Um, so it's done, it's washed, and it because it's new fashion chunky and it's 100% acrylic, I popped it in the washer on a wall setting. We don't have a hand wash setting on this washer. We used to on the old one. What? Yes, that's right. Yay! This was the grey. Give me a ball of it, Jack. That's not helpful. It's still not helpful. Uh, this was the other yarn, the orchid. Um, Lido chunky yarn that I had um, that I was considering using for the border and it it probably would have gone together but with this being such a large amount of the turquoise I thought it might look a little bit odd um, plus I got to finish off all chunky so now Jack will stop crinkling thank you <laughs> um, so he gets any leftover turquoise uh, chunky and then he gets all the grey and he can hoard it in his bedroom until Paul tries to clean it up and then it'll come back to me and hey, I always get told off. I actually I give him... crocheted granny squares now, don't I? You I started crocheting a granny thing. square and then you asked me to finish it off because he gets so far in and then goes, can you just finish it? Because like, I did something wrong and you took it and yeah, did it. Yeah, I fixed it. it and then you were like, yeah, do you just carry on? <laughs> so, yes, um, it went in a wool setting at 30 degrees and I popped it in the tumble dryer on the wall setting for that when it you was did. done and it's uh, opened up lovely so uh, it's much much softer than it was um, and it feels drapey now you know how I was saying it felt it was quite sort of sturdy I suppose because it was a six and a half mil hook and chunky yarn well that's I mean it's beautifully sort of soft and drapey and it's gorgeous so I think Tina will absolutely love this. Obviously, I can't put this video up until I've given it to her because she watches sometimes and it will give the game away. Um, she does now making one. I think she's even seen pictures of the cats because the cats kept sleeping on it while I was trying to work on it. Um, she's she's got a, a cat and a dog of her own, so he's not you know a, in any way allergic to pets or anything like that. But it has been washed and dry, so it's all good and it's nice to be able to use up some yarn that was potentially going to go, you know, either in the bin or, you know, um, be cleared out from my friend's mother-in-law's house. So, um, yeah, thank you to Liz for, for giving me the yarn and I did offer to make something for, for their family. Um, so I did that for a friend of mine. She gave me a load of yarn that was from her aunt's house, I think, and she'd started making granny squares. Um, and I, there wasn't enough yarn to finish like the border colour, I think she'd used a brown, but there was no brown there in any of the bags that they'd found. So I just took the border off 
uh, washed all the squares and then reboarded it in a different colour and I made two blankets, one for each of my friend's kids and I made it cry <laughs> um, but I thought, you know, these blankets have been started with the intent from this family member uh, to make blankets so I thought, you know, if I can finish them off and give them back to the family, that's lovely so I did say to Liz, do you want me to make something for you? and she said, thank you, but no, the house is, you know, they've got quite a lot of stuff from their mother in, her mother-in-law's house um, and they were just overwhelmed by it all so I was like fair enough um, so I'm putting it to good use and giving it to my friend Tina she's already got one of the blankets I've made and she has to sort of fight everyone away from it and off it because Joel tries to get it and um, it's her blanket <laughs> so I was like well I'll make you one maybe I'll have to make one when Jack doesn't do anything with the great yarn maybe I'll have to make one for the doggy um, I don't know but anyway so I'm gonna go because the oven is gonna beep at me any second so I need to check that the lemon drizzle cake is okay and that the potatoes aren't boiling over um, I haven't got the galaxy of ring uh, galaxy of rings galaxy of change blanket it's the rings of change and galaxy of change I haven't got that down here it's upstairs so I'll try and tack another clip on to the end of this at some point. Uh, I had my hair cut but it desperately needs washing so it's it's in a nice shape but it just it needs washing, it feels like it needs washing. There you go, I told you it would beep. Um, and my skin appears to be falling apart again, it's, I don't know what's falling, to, going to part and falling to pieces. That's, that, that was not even a spot, it was like my soul was trying to escape my body via a portal on my head or something and I'm a chin sore. My skin thinks it's younger than I am. I'm having like teenage breakouts at nearly 40. <laughs> nearly 40. Ugh. Ugh. Let's not think about that. Um, I did post on Facebook last night that I held off buying yarn. Because I was going to put in the post that Ruthie got some yarn. Ruthie of Pink Pumpkin Crochet. And then I thought, I can't find it. I couldn't. I'd seen it somewhere and I was like, I checked Instagram. Checked, you know check for Ruthie on Instagram. I was like, no, there's no picture of it. I was like, I'm blaming Ruthie for nearly making me buy yarn. That's not fair. Then I went back on YouTube in the evening and she posted a video about it. I was like, oh, it was her. So Ruthie is back. I will link to her video below. Um, she's bought some yarn from Good Vibes Yarn. Um, and I've been on there before. I'm not sure if I've bought from there before, but I've definitely been on there before because Jenny, uh, Jenny's crocheting diamond painting zone. Hi, Jenny. Oh, hi, Ruthie as well, sorry. Um, I know Jenny's bought from them before and I always think oh, but they've got some like huge they're called mega cakes or something and it's like 1080 meters of uh, like DK gradient cakes for seven pounds I was like oh two of them would make a great blanket and I'm like stop you need to make toys you've got to build your stock back up so within not very long I'd got two cakes of two colors of this huge yarn so that was like 28 quid and then there was some lovely, what are they called? Not troll. Uh, I can't think. But it, it was like blue and pink and green. And, oh, the oven's going to tell me. It's really nice. And I, I put like three cakes of that in and it was getting towards 40 quid. I was like, stop it, stop it, stop it. So I took everything out of my cart, behaved myself. So by all means, go and watch Ruth's video and get yourself enabled. And I'll try and hold off. <laughs> um, so I'll finish this clip for now. I'll go and rescue the cake. And I'll come back and show you the galaxy of change at some point soon. See you in a bit, guys. Excuse the mess in the background. How was your cake, Jack? Amazing. Amazing. Banana cake. Banana cake. We'll just cut it. That came out first. Sorry, my potatoes are um, having a moment. So there's our banana cake. Lovely. <laughs> well, it looks really yellowy inside. It's not. And there's our lemon drizzle, and we've just... Which also looks really yellow in the middle. In there. We've pricked it and put some lemon, uh, some of our lemon syrup in it. I made that. Mm -hmm. Oh, who squeezed all the lemons, despite having cuts all over her hands? I have cuts all over my hands. Yeah, yes, but who still carried on? You just sat there, like... Oh, I just on the floor. dropped banana cake in my apron. In your apron. Lovely. So yes, there are our cakes. There's my them. chicken. Oh. Ready for... Dinner. So yes, that cake was delicious, and hopefully this one will be too. Some of the lemon drizzle is going to his girlfriend tomorrow, isn't it? 
Yes, so is a little teddy bear and some little hearts and a card. Lovely. Oh, and I got some flowers from Paul, but I can't show you because he's in the front room. He's doing something, isn't he? Where is it? You see. In the door. Let's see if I can go in the back. Have a look. Aren't they pretty? Hi everyone, um, I hope you're okay. I am back to finish off this video because I'm aware it's been over a week since I filmed the first two parts of it. It's been a bit hectic, um, but it is Wednesday the 23rd of February. Uh, it's quarter to three in the afternoon. Uh, the kids are on half term this week so I don't have to rush anywhere, yay. Um, Jack's out with his girlfriend slash wife <laughs> um, I dropped him there this morning I started work early so I could nip out to take him to his girlfriend's house um, and his girlfriend's mum was bringing him back about quarter past four so I thought ha, I have some time Tobin is here uh, I bought him a McDonald's for lunch and had it delivered because um, that seems to be one of the very few ways to entice him out of his bedroom um, but I said he can have friends around or whatever as long as they're not too loud when I'm working you know it's not a problem um easy when Jack's you know if Jack's with his friend you know if Jack's out today it would have been perfect for his Tony's friend to come around because then we wouldn't have had the let's all play together and then they have an argument but he's just he's on YouTube now because he was on his Xbox earlier chatting to some friends or something and now he's on YouTube I have, I have tried to engage him um, you know, while I was working and stuff and checking he's okay but he's, he's very much oh I'm into my room so anyway lots of waffle I brought the um, Galaxy of Change to show you so I've got a photo I took on my phone of it all laid out on our king size bed so there it is from the centre and I'll just bring it down to show you the pattern it's very pretty and this used the full um, 600 grams of the yarn art um, yarn I got from Lolly's and I've gone further I think on this than I have with any of the others and I ran out of yarn <laughs> let me find it why did it actually stop oh it's there right so this much of the border from here to here I had to use a, a different yarn but I don't think you can tell massively and it it was it was nice to finish off these uh, rows and get this nice pattern I mean how clever is this super clever um, <clears throat> I wanted to to get that bit done I think I must have previously gone just to here I think on my mother-in-law's on the blue and purple one I did for Christmas so Debbie's got an even bigger blanket um, well she will have when I give it to her for either her, her birthday's in July 1st of July I think um, I always get confused because there's uh, one of my friends at work who I've worked with for years worked out at the old place with her at the old place as well her name's Debbie too and her birthday is the 1st of August I think so I always think which Debbie is the 1st of August, which is the 1st of July. I'm pretty sure it's 1st of July for Auntie Debbie. So she may not want a blanket in the middle of August. Well, you know, in the middle of summer, if we get a summer this year. Um, we definitely did last year. I'm not saying like we didn't get a summer, but you, know, you can't take it for granted, can you, that the sun will actually shine. Um, but this hasn't been washed or anything like that. I thought there's no point yet if it's going to sit in the wardrobe for another at least six months. So I'll wash it nearer the time. And then I've started on <laughs> started on another blanket, but that's buried behind the sofa, and it's just a um, like a granny chevron. It's a I've got hair on my lip, um, a bag of day crystal uh, pattern with the last three balls of yarn art yarn I've got, but I'll show you that next time because um, there's not really a great deal to show at the minute. But I am working on the um, Sweet Oddity Art. You know, I made the mousse when I was testing the pattern in January. 
well on the moose pattern it's like a two and one a moose and a unicorn and I've been asked to make two unicorns so I'm working on that <laughs> I'm on the work whatsapp group <laughs> is anyone in this custom system no so yeah I've been asked to make two unicorns so I have two unicorn bodies two unicorn heads um, I think I've got one pair of ears. I don't think I've done the other. One pair of unicorn ears. And I'll do the other. And then I thought, better tackle the legs because they're all four the same. Um, you don't get like a reprieve. There's not a plain leg. Um, you know, it doesn't have different front and back legs. So I had to make eight of these. And there's one, two, three, four, five, six, seven colours in each one. So I thought as I'm I've got the yarn out and I'm making these, I'm gonna make three unicorns because I think after I've done them I'm not gonna to want to do this kind of striping again. It's very like muted colours. Well until you get up here it gets a bit darker. But I really like that pink into the orange. This orange is um Starcraft Special DK in toy. And it's a really nice sort of peachy orangey colour um, so I've got one set of legs done two set of legs done two legs and I think I'm nearly finished the third I was working on it this morning before I started work oh no I finished that one. <laughs> oh no that's all I've got of the third leg of the third set oh I thought I had more. I must have just finished off one of them. <sighs> so I've got lots of legs to do. Or I've done lots of legs. I've just got, well, two more. Then another head, another body. Horns, I imagine. Uh, some more ears. And then loads of hair. I can't remember what the hair looks like on the back. So yeah, <laughs> I'll make these unicorns and then two are going to my friend. And then I don't want to make him again, probably. Uh, or not for a while, but I thought if I've got one, get one made to go into my stock, then that's good. Um, yeah, so I'm going to go and make some more legs now, I think. Have a cup of tea and just relax because I don't have to go anywhere. I went out with Jack yesterday. What did we go for? We went to, oh, I needed bread um, and cobs for Turbin's lunch. And then... We got, uh, we picked up, sorry, I guess it's not like the phone vibrating or something. Um, picked up some uh, icing, like frosting for a cake mix that we've already got. And Paul decided to pick up some cupcakes, but they've got like a slime topping. You can make the slime and play with it and then put it on top of your cake. Your, like fairy cakes or your cupcakes. It sounds foul. But he wants to do that. I'm off Friday, so we've got a, a day together where I'm not working, uh, me and the kids. So Jack wants to do them then. But because I finish at half two, we've had time to do a bit after school, after work even. Uh, so Monday we did makeup, because he wanted to try and do my makeup again. He says he wants to be a makeup artist. Um, yes, he, he did a winged eyeliner on me that looked more like a skate ramp. It went from here up up towards my eye and then straight down I was like it was very neat though <laughs> uh, so we had good fun doing that then yesterday we went shopping by the time we got back here because I had to go and pick up some bits in another shop by the time we got back we wouldn't have had time to make the cake before I had to get ready and do tea and go to spin and then by the time I walked in and put the food down on the table it was ten past six and I was supposed to be at spin at half past six it was like I was like, I'm not going with a tummy full of tummy stomach full of food because I just feel gross on the bike. I feel sicky. So I was like, oh, I'll do a workout at home later. And then I was just sat there. I'm like, I've got a gym membership. Go. Because <laughs> I go to the gym to do my spin class, but I've not been going up, but going up into the gym for ages. They've moved it around since they. Well, they've moved it around since I used to go upstairs all the time. And 
they've moved it again since the COVID restrictions came in and then the, they ended. So they've closed off part of it to be another like classroom for aerobics and, and stuff like that. Um, but they've put a lot of the weight machines down one end where all the big heavy weights are. So it seems, you know, it, it made it very daunting again. It, it used to be like that when it was downstairs and it moved upstairs and it was much better. You didn't feel like you were walking through, pardon the phrase, the meat head section to get to your weights. Um, Cause you almost get looked at like, what are you doing down this end of the gym? You're just a, a, you know, just a little girl. Um, yeah, and it's, it's kind of made it that way again. Um, complaints have been made by people, not not me, but um, one of the instructors was saying that women, you know, are intimidated to go down the end anyway. Even men starting to go, you know, like who aren't huge, uh, sort of big built blokes when they're just starting out. They have to walk down there and there's all these big dudes around. Plus they leave all their big heavy weights on the machines. So if I were to go to a machine and I wanted, or I wanted to use the barbell, um, I would have to take off whatever weight plates they'd left on there. And there's like 20, 30 kilo plates that I wouldn't feel confident in taking down, you know. So that's been, that's been mentioned, that they should put everything away so that you're starting, you know, if you, if you walk in, you pick up the weights you can handle. Um, so I don't know. But yeah, I didn't, I didn't go that end, but I did. Went on the elliptical and I did uh, leg presses and chest presses and low rows and then I got some dumbbells out and did some arm weights and some squatting with weights and various things. And at one point I bent down and my left hamstring just screamed. And I thought, oh. <laughs> she stood there thinking, I hope I can get up again. <laughs> just had visions of me not being able to get back up but I did and I've got a spin book for tonight as well so I'll need it I had a McDonald's for lunch um but yes so I'm just waffling because because I can I haven't got anywhere to go it's really strange um we painted our bedroom at the weekend or one wall of our bedroom um because we painted ours just all light gray when we moved in um and it was the last room to be painted and I think I was past caring but that boy just like literally get paint on the wall you know um so the back wall was a bit patchy um that our headboard goes up against so it didn't look great and then Paul was saying he'd been thinking about doing just one of the, making it so we had a feature wall as well because both kids had um so we painted it red um we did get quite a nice like mustard yellow colour that I really liked but I think the other walls would have needed to be darker to make the mustard I think it was called retro yellow I think it didn't pop enough on the light grey it just looked a bit meh whereas the red looks really nice so painted that got a quote from my friend who's an upholsterer to reupholster our headboard because it's like a beigey peachy colour which is not we didn't pick it it was um Paul's dad's when when we lived there we had their bed we bought a new mattress very swiftly <laughs> that's like one of the first things I want a new mattress I don't want to sleep on on your dad's mattress sort of thing um so yeah we've we've sort of swapped everything out but obviously the headboard it's it's a good um sort of quality headboard and it's now weighing up, do we reupholster the one we've got uh, to a dark grey, so it's dark against the wall, or do we buy a new headboard? Um, I think for the price of like a cheapish headboard, it's probably about the same as having it reupholstered, but if you're buying a cheap headboard, you're gonna get a cheap headboard, so we might keep the better quality one and just have it covered. Plus it puts some work my friend's way. Um, and keeps his business going so but that will have to wait because Paul's car cost us £400 the other week and all the things oh well, Miss Roxy is booked in for her first jab um, early March she'll go and have a vaccination then she'll go for her second one and microchipping 
about four, six, four to six weeks later. And then once she's either four months old or over two kilos, she can go in and be spayed. So we'll get that done as well. So that will cost money. And Pickle will need his booster. Yeah. So, uh, so my battery's saying it's about to die. This is I'm keeping an eye on this battery. I bought a new one, like an Uber one, for my GoPro. Um, and because I'm a GoPro subscriber, because I bought the camera with a subscription, which knocked two hundred pound off the price of the camera. Weird. Um, I get I think I've got ten percent off, so it worked out it was the same price as a normal battery. Um, but this one that's in was uh, two batteries came with the camera and one of them it takes forever to charge or it won't fully charge this is the first time I've got it to fully charge but then it drops really rapidly so I can't I think I need to get in touch with them and say this is not this battery's faulty but I need to make sure Paul's like why don't you just tell them I need to make sure it's the right battery and it's actually doing what I think it's doing because I feel a fool if they test it and go there's nothing wrong with it but it's definitely dropping. It had 51% when I put it on and I've spoken for 17 minutes and it's dying. So it's supposed to last longer, isn't it? Anyway, I hope you're all doing okay. Um, let me know what you're working on. Uh, like I say, sorry for the gap in between the parts of this video, but it'll be a good long one for you because I waffled a lot in the first two bits. Take care everyone and I'll see you again soon.